buy this duck for $19. $19? Sorry, I can't give it to you. This duck is originally $20. We won't make a profit on it. I can't give the stock to you. 25 then. 25? That's a good deal. All right, here you go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Good day. Good day. I'll sell the stock back to you for $10. No, the stock market is going down. I can't take that risk with the stocks. I'm sorry, but I can't accept your offer. $5 then. No, I'm not going to accept $5. I know that's cheap, but sorry. $3, $3, please. No, I'm sorry. I can't accept your offer no matter what deal. I have to go. That, that's it. That's it. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Carol. You heard about the stock market and the great crash, right? Yeah. It's such a shame. My husband lost his job. Mine did too. My kids are, are so worried about my husband. You know, he he supported us through everything and and now it's just the employment rate is going down I mean going up so much. I just I just don't know what to say. Um do you still have your house? Yeah, we still have it, but if we don't find a job soon, well, I don't think we're going to have it for much longer. Hopefully we also have the house, but I don't know. It, it, it's, um, it's a hope, not for sure. So. financial crisis. The stock markets are crashing and people are losing their jobs. Don't worry, we're the Federal Reserve. We're the banking system. We can take control of all of this. We can do this thing called the monetary policy. We control inflation, modify interest rates, and regulate foreign exchange rates. If we all do this, all of this will be over in no time and the people just have to calm down. Let's shake our hands. Let's do this. on the spot. I'll, I'll talk to you when I have the time. It's like, oh who do they think I am? The, the, the superhero that knows everything. It's not like having a, a, a yeah. Hello, piggy bank. You looking in the extra green today. Oh, you are really heavy. A bunch of Money. Are you there? Yes, I'm still here. Well, I, I came up with a solution. You see, you see, you know how these people are out there complaining, unemployed, and, ev and inflation and everything, and how they're complaining about and they have no money. I could just give more money to the banks, and it'll be good. You can? Yes, I certainly can. Um, now, will you excuse me? I need my president to be asleep. Uh, hey there. Oh, where are you from? 
Um, I'm from New York City. Same. Um, how, how did you get here? I fled my family. I, I lost my job and I went on a train to, to the Hoover Rooms. And now I'm unemployed, you know? I, I have nothing to do about it. Same. I, I lost my job and we weren't, we, we didn't have much money to begin with. So, so we lost everything. I was so ashamed. I ran. Me too. I, I couldn't pay the water bill. I couldn't pay the electricity bill. My family was in, was in, under so much debt. I, I had to leave. I, it, it, I didn't want to see him like this. Do you think we still have a chance to come back? I, I, I don't want to go back. Not until, not until I can pick it up to them. Not until I can, I can find a job and, and send for them. And I, I really want to see them again. But I can't disappoint them. I know. Oh, as fathers, we should provide and protect for our family, and, and we failed. I, I wonder how our wives are doing right now. Me too. <sighs> this is so long of a line, you know? Um, Many people are in line for the soup line. Yeah. You know, my husband left me and, like, to fend for myself and my kids. It, it, that's just so devastating. Um, I can actually relate. Something similar happened to me last week. Um, last week, my husband couldn't stand not providing and protecting and paying the bills for the family. So he left me a note saying that he's going to flee somewhere. And he just, he just left. And last minute, I just had to get a last minute job for the kids. My husband didn't even give me that. He just left. He left me to fend for myself and my kids. And and I just, I I have a job, but it doesn't pay enough to like, we can't even afford a house. We can barely afford a house, nothing else. Just shelter. But at least we have the soup line to help us. Um, I hope their uh, foods um, are selling for cheap prices right now. Excuse me, ma'am. How much do we exactly have to pay for the soup? Oh, we have no price at all. Here in the soup line, we provide food to every family who's in need in these desperate times. Thank you so <laughs> much, ma'am. Yeah, no problem. Here, take some. Take some for your whole family. I can't believe it. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh, this is free? Yeah, it's free. My kids will love this. Thank you so much. No Thank problem. You.
nation is in a serious economic crisis. Over the job board. President FDR and his vice president, of course, the sidekicks, you know? Man, Tennessee sure is a wasteland. I came from a hobo and it got employed as an electrician. Employment rates are really getting better. I can fiddle with the electric box and now I can fix everything here in Tennessee. Hopefully it works. It's beautiful! I tried to fix the life as much as I could. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello there. Um, basically, we're trying to get as many people to work for us as we can. We're trying to get more um, people to be employed and care for the environment, um, especially the trees and all the plants. So, would you like to apply for a job? Do you, you mean uh, I could get paid? I could have a job again? Yes. We're trying to get as many people as we can, no matter what, no matter if they live in the Hoovervilles or not. We do care for the environment here, so would you like to uh, join me in training? Yeah, yes, yes, please. All right, follow me. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Huh, I can't believe I got the job for that. I'm so excited to tell Emily. Somewhere. Oh, she's a little lamb. Oh, oh God. Yes, Farmers is. are getting employed again. 